Under arrest in the temple attack, police say this is the man who threw a pipe bomb at the Satanic Temple in Salem last week. Investigators used traffic cameras and a dog hair to track him down in Oklahoma. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. The court paperwork also hints at a possible motive. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live in Salem tonight with the de details. Brandon. Well, Lisa, in addition to that, there were also surveillance video and social media posts that helped them lead, uh, l lead people to this guy who they say drove from Oklahoma to be here. New images tonight of 49 year old Sean Palmer, the man federal prosecutors allege threw a pipe bomb at the Satanic Temple in Salem earlier this month, then drove away. Palmer was arrested in Oklahoma this morning, more than a week after the incident. Investigators claim Palmer made this pipe bomb using materials he purchased at a home improvement store in his home state the day before driving here. Prosecutors say the pipe bomb was covered in nails and filled with gunpowder and claim it only partially detonated when it was thrown on the temple's front porch, causing a minor fire to its exterior. So many agencies swept in immediately when this happened. It's Lucian Greaves is the co-founder of the temple and says he's thinking Thankful, law enforcement was able to track this guy down. Authorities say Palmer had social media posts wearing the same tan color tactical vests as the one he allegedly wore here. They also say a handwritten threatening letter was found in a nearby flower bed, reading in part, turn from sin, Elohim, no like this place and plan to destroy it, maybe Salem too. This is just the latest in a string of incidents here. In January, a Michigan man was arrested for plotting to bomb the temple. And in June of 2022, a Chelsea man was arrested for setting it on fire. While Greaves is hoping things settle soon. I'm relieved that they got this guy. I am concerned that I feel like uh, we're in a cultural moment right now where people are at a hysterical pitch and I feel like that's only going to get worse up until the election. But as for now, we can rest easy knowing at least this guy is in custody. And prosecutors believe that Palmer was here in September. That's when this temple was vandalized with spray paint. He's going to be in an Oklahoma courtroom tomorrow before being brought to Boston. Live in Salem, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News. Brandon, thank you.